Because of the threat lionfish impose, the FWC is encouraging lionfish removal by scuba divers that are able to safely do so. Now typically, lionfish are found on coral reefs and patchy lie bottom areas that are accessible to divers. However, divers should remember that we are trying to protect these ecosystems by removing lionfish. We do not want to cause additional harm to the habitats we attempt to remove the lionfish from. To demonstrate recommended lionfish removal techniques, the FWC makes a trip to the northern Gulf of Mexico. They load up a vessel with the appropriate gear and make their way to lie bottom sites offshore. Once on site, the divers waste no time entering the water to begin their hunt of the lionfish awaiting below. Divers are out there harvesting lionfish in order to uh, prevent further damage to our native marine ecosystems. So they should keep that in mind that we're also trying to make sure that um, us as divers aren't causing further damage by participating in these activities. So when divers are approaching a habitat where there's lionfish, uh, they should first make sure they're maintaining either neutral or slightly positive buoyancy so they're staying up off the bottom uh, rather than resting or running into habitat and making sure they're not grabbing onto things and keeping their fins up off the ground so they don't cause further damage to the natural habitat. So tools that are typically helpful when harvesting lionfish include pole spears and containment units. Um, and putting lionfish into containment units while underwater prevents diver injury um, so that the, the diver can collect more lionfish without ever having to handle or touch the fish underwater. Pole spears are a pretty popular tool for lionfish harvest. They have a shorter range, they're easier to control. Uh, you can also choose a multiple prong tip for your pole spear. Uh, most divers use either a three prong and anywhere up to a six prong tip. And this prevents the lionfish from sliding up the shaft and injuring the diver. So lionfish can often be found hiding up underneath ledges and crevices and cracks and sometimes up against uh, objects like sponges where if you take a shot you might accidentally hit the structure. Sometimes it's good for divers to either herd or move the lionfish away from that position so that they can get a clear shot without causing any damage. Divers also need to be mindful of the native resident animals. Turtles often sleep under ledges, sometimes out of sight of divers. This is one reason why divers should never shoot into a cavity in which they cannot clearly see. RFWC divers conclude their lionfish harvesting within their no decompression limit dive times and start a slow ascent to the surface. They perform a safety stop at 15 feet for several minutes. Once at the surface, the divers carefully pour the catch straight from their containment units into a cooler. This allows the divers to avoid direct contact with the fish and their venomous spines. At the end of the successful day, the FWC packs up and wants to remind viewers to make safety a priority if considering lionfish removal. And lastly, never release a caught lionfish back into the water. Thanks for watching.